Sorry, guys. You caught me sipping some water. <laughs> How are we all doing today? Are we having a good day so far? I hope so. Everybody stand up. We're going to start our day, okay? Let's do it. Good morning, Trinity friends. How are you? Good morning, Trinity friends. How are you? It's time to start our day. We will learn and laugh and play. Good morning, Trinity friends. How are you? Yay! You can all have a seat. Let's chat a little bit, okay? So, I don't know what you guys did yesterday, but I had a really good day. And today, it's supposed to be another beautiful day outside. But it's going to be very, very hot and humid. That means sometimes it's like almost difficult to breathe. It's like so warm, it's difficult to breathe, okay? So make sure you hydrate. Drink lots of water. Say hi to Betsu who's bark barking right now, but she'll be quiet in a second. Lots of water. And if you're going to be outside playing, make sure you put on that sunscreen. And a hat would be a very good idea. Are we ready? Okay, let's do it. Today is a Tuesday. Tuesday. So how many days are in the week? Seven. I can't fool you guys, eh? There were seven days. There were seven days. There were seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we've got some beautiful dog barking music in the background. <laughs> she should stop momentarily. Uh, let's do the calendar. She's distracted me, the little bum. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And it is not partly cloudy. It is a beautiful sunny day out there. Don't forget what I said. I want, I don't want anybody getting sunburns, okay? We are the 26th, so we said Tuesday, May 26th. Beautiful day. Let's go back up to spring. This silly thing keeps falling down. All right, so we're going to talk about the letter Z or Z. You can say it any way you like. It's either a Z or a Z, depending on how you like to say it. Um, we're going to be uh, doing a little book today. It's a teeny tiny book. It's called my Itsy Bitsy Letter Z Book. When you say Itsy Bitsy Letter Z Book, kind of goes with it, okay? So I'm going to send this on to your parents, all right? And it's very simple what you have to do. Uh, let's see. First, I would suggest coloring it in, okay? Coloring it in, and down here on this one, it says your name. Whoop, can you see that? Down here, it says your name. So you're gonna color, 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 write your name. This one you're going to trace. You can trace it in any color you like, or if, you, if you're not sure, do it in pencil, because if you make a goof, if you goof up and you make a little mistake, like Miss Kathleen does quite often, you can erase it and redo it, okay? So, let me read this to you. It starts with... It's upside down. <laughs> My Itsy Bitsy Letter Z book, okay? And it goes like this. Z says Z. Z says Z. Big Z, little Z. Z, Z, Z. So that could be our song of the week. Oh, let's try it again. Z says z z says z z big z little z z z z z <laughs> practice makes perfect guys zebra starts with z z z z zipper starts with z z z z z zoo starts with z z z z zigzag starts with z z z z zero starts with z z z z z and then the last page says kidszone.ws itsy bitsy books. So when you've got all that colored in, you see there's dotted lines? Okay, you're gonna cut this along the dotted lines and you put one after the other and it makes a little book. And you can ask an adult to put a staple on it and it'll be a really cool, fun book to play with, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm going to move this over. Take a minute or two and ask mommy or daddy or if there's an adult with you in the room uh, to pause the video go and get this on on the email that i'm going to be sending you and you can color it in with me okay so let's put this down i'll just color a little bit just to give you an idea let's see <laughs> i'm going to do a nice pink for my letter z here or my letter z however you would like to say it 
Do, do, do. Okay, you don't have to color them all in right away. If you want to do the cutting first, it's up to you. But I'm thinking if you color it in first, it'll be easier because you have to staple it together after. And once it's stapled, it might be difficult to, um, to color because your pages won't be flat. That's one color for that. Let's see if I have a nice blue. I can do this zero with a nice blue. Look at that, oh, isn't that pretty? It's like a sky blue color. It's very pretty. Yeah, there we are. Sky blue, very, very nice, I like that. And why do we call it sky blue? Because it looks like the color of the sky on a beautiful day, yeah. All right, so you get the idea. All I'm doing is coloring in these little guys. So if you want to do them dark, you can do them dark, like my little zigzag here is going to be a dark purple. Okay, and don't worry about going out of the lines. It's perfectly normal to go out of the lines. It's perfectly normal. So that's basically what you're going to do. You're going to color them all in, and then you're going to cut on the lines. I'm going to show you that right now. Don't forget, how did I show you to take your scissors? If you're walking with scissors to go and sit down, make sure you hold them like this, right? Pointy part inside, so if you fall, you don't get hurt, okay? And if you're passing them to somebody too, you do the same thing. So if I'm using them and somebody's waiting because they'd like to use them, you take them like this and you pass them like that and the other person holds it here. A lot of safety ideas, yes. All right, so we're gonna cut out this page. And if you goof and you don't cut on the lines, it's not a big deal, guys. Don't worry about that. And if you really have to, if you make a really, really big goof and you cut one of the pages in half, well, that's why they invented tape, right? So you just tape it back together. Or you can glue it back together however you would like to do it, okay? Some of these don't have dotted lines on them, and I'm not quite sure, but you're going to cut each one out. You see how I'm doing that? I'm going to cut each one each one like this and then now you have two pieces so you're going to cut those in half on the line if possible and if not not a big deal and when you're putting them to get together afterwards there's no real um, perfect way to do it the only thing I'm going to ask you is this one here that says my itsy bitsy letter z book that's the front page so that goes first and then all these other ones you can put behind except when you get to this last page this one here that says kid zone that's meant to go on the back of your book so the front of your book you know when you're looking at a book there's always a cover page and then something on the back it's got writing this is the same thing so this is your cover page Okay, my Itsy Bitsy Letter Z book. And when you turn it around, you can see it was made by kidzone.ws Itsy Bitsy Books. Okay, and this here, kidzone.ws Mummies and Daddies, you can go on there and there's a lot of wonderful things to do with the children. Okay, so then you're going to just ask Mummy and Daddy. This part I prefer you not to do, guys, because I don't want any stapled fingers. Okay, but if Mummy and Daddy are there and they're helping you, that's perfectly fine. Now, you can staple it down the side here. Or just one little staple there. I think I'm just going to do the one little staple. One staple. Even if it covers a little bit of the letter, it's okay. And see, when you flip your book, there you go. Not all of mine are colored, but I'll finish that a little bit later. So that's your little book. And if you like, you can try and learn the words with mummy. Because you know what this is, right? This is a zero. So zero. So you know the first word is zero. Starts with Z. Z, z, z. Pretty simple, eh? You can practice that. And if you're finding you're getting pretty good at it, why don't you take a little picture or a little video of you see, uh, reading your book and send it to me. I would love to see it. All right. Tomorrow, you can expect hot, hot weather again. Okay, so make sure you're going to be creamed up again if you're going outside again tomorrow. Make sure you wear that hot. Make sure you drink lots of water. Yes, we need that. Um, and we'll do another Z project tomorrow, okay? I think maybe we'll make a little happy zebra puppet face or something. I'll think about it overnight and I'll make it for tomorrow, okay? Have a lovely afternoon. It's time to say goodbye. Are we ready? It's time to end our day. It's time to end our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and then be on our way. Hurrah! Hooray! Yippee! <laughs> 
have a lovely day boys and girls all my friends out here who are out there who are joining me i'm so happy you're here with me hugs and hugs and hugs and hugs and kisses to all of you love y'all and see you soon here's my little mouse to turn this off here we go <laughs> bye guys